Good morning. Welcome back to Premium Aquatics. My name is Luke. This is the Tank Series. Let's dive right into it. I hope you're having a great week. Staying happy, staying healthy, staying safe, not going too crazy, locked up in your home like the rest of us. I'm ready to get out in this nice weather. I'm smoking a brisket this week. I'm excited. It's my first one ever. Hopefully it turns out great. You can't taste it. Sorry about your luck. But let's get on with it. Uh, we've got a couple of things to go over. First things first is the Brightwell Cato Grow. Um, I want to give you a little update. It's been a week. I do my daily dosage uh, down in the sump for the Cato Morpha. I think my Cato is growing larger. It's very possible I could be going crazy, but I'm fairly certain I see a difference with my eyes. And, and I want to say that I'm a good judge, but you never know. I should have actually gotten a scale, weighed the algae uh, at the get-go then give it a week, two weeks, a month, two months, and then reweigh it and see what it does and see if there's a significant difference in there. Maybe I'll go real quick and order a digital scale and we can actually weigh it out and see what it does. So I think that'd be actually very interesting to see. Second thing is I've got more Nasaria snail eggs laid back here on the back of the uh, overflow box. So uh, those guys are doing great. The best news is I've got, I've told you I've got um, coralline algae growing on the magnet, but today, no, this week, I've seen that there's actually a strip of core line along the back wall, as well as a little bit starting on the overflow. So I am pumped. I know that doesn't seem like a lot, but for someone that's had this tank for how many months now and has been slowly, slowly grinding away at it, it's great to finally see some real... Um, I don't know, positive as far as the coralline algae goes because I know then the color is coming and it's probably on the rock. I just can't tell because it's a little bit harder to see. But I'm ecstatic that it's on the back wall. It'll be great. Uh, hopefully it grows very quickly and kind of starts covering that back wall up. I did come into one small issue this week. The Nero 5, my prized little pump that I love so far, was not working. Uh, the motor was not spinning on it and I was getting a warning signal on the little controller stick. I think it was flashing like blue and red or white and red or something like that. And it had to do with the motor. Uh, it was an error for the motor. So I'm like, okay, well crap. I haven't cleaned it in a while. So I'll take it out, go and clean it. And look what I find here. Warning, this is some gruesome material. So if you're squeamish, look away. Three, two, one one <laughs> look right here <laughs> a poor little astrina starfish somehow decided he was going to take life on the road get into the nero 5 and try and get his way into the pump where the blade just right on him it was enough to bind that impeller up and stop from working so i had to get him out of there um sorry little guy spent as soon as i clean that up put it back in bam we're back up and running so that was kind of funny to see um, would never thought that they would have went in there uh, feeling that motion go past that they would have kept moving and just eventually got themselves stuck, which is crazy. But everything else looks very happy, very healthy. Everything's working very well. Uh, so ecstatic for that. So let's get into what we're doing today. We're going to look at these reef brights again. As you know, we have four units on here, three all blue, one 50-50. So now that we changed out our fixture to just the four reef bright strips, I want to bring out our buddy, the Apogee Parameter, and we're going to rerun some tests here, and then we're going to compare them, see what we had. I really, honestly, I don't remember what we had gotten before. I know it was pretty good, um, so I'm going to bring that out, look back in the old feed, see if I can't throw up some uh, comparison pictures here for you, and uh, we'll see what we're getting out of the reef bright. I really think they should be pretty decent uh, because they are uh, very strong LEDs. Um, and I think I'm gonna get good uh, results out of it. Let's get the power meter. Let's get it running. We'll do some tests. Let's go. Okay, so i uh, got my app up here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna override my settings right now and put them both at 100% just so we get a full on at 100% on all four LEDs. This is what we're looking at compared to what we had with the ATI. Um, so I'll put that there. We have the Apogee meter. If we remember, this is the MQ510, our little sensor cable. 
let's get to testing it. I'm not gonna worry about the back because this fixture definitely does not hit the back very well. Uh, with the way it's set up and being on the front of my glass, um, it does not get the back that great. So I'm not gonna worry about testing there. We're gonna test the front here and the middle and then around some of the corals like the Duncans, the Anemone, and then maybe some Zoanthid frags and we'll compare them to what we have. So uh, let's go ahead and get in here. Okay, so I'm going to uh, get some readings here. I'm gonna attempt to hold this properly here so you can see the numbers and uh, move this maybe a little bit over and um, I'll try and put the previous ones uh, right here so you can compare it what the ATI got and uh, see what we got. So let's uh, power this up. So this is an air. All right, so in this front corner, right underneath the water, I'm not gonna go much further just down because uh, it doesn't make a lot of sense where it is, but uh, here it is in the middle, up front, and then down at the bottom. Front corner, which my hand is blocking some of this, so here, I'll try and make it so I'm not. There we go, a little, still a little bit awkward. And if we go over to the right hand side, I really should have had the wand for this. We go over the right hand side, this is right underneath the water level. And uh, here's about half ways down. And then if we go into the middle of the tank, right under the, right under the water level. And then all the way down to the bottom. And then if we go over to the left hand side under the water, should be pretty similar. Oops, right there. And then about half ways down here on the left hand side. And like I said, um, so let's go at some of the corals here. This is at the Duncan. This is here at the Anemone. This is by the Paul Sanzinia. So honestly, I think the par's great. Uh, for what I have in here, you know, uh, even the anemones are getting 300 par, it should be more than happy with. And uh, as I've noted, over this past week or two weeks, these anemones have come out much more than what they were before. I am amazed at the corals and, uh, you know, the comparison between when I had the ATI up and when I had the reef brights. Now again, Take that with a grain of salt. There are so many factors that play a part of aquariums that it is not just the lighting. Don't you know misunderstand what I'm saying here. Lighting plays a huge part of our corals happiness, our tank's overall health, but it's a part of it. And that's very, very important to understand that yes, if you go change lighting, it can be detrimental, it can cause issues, but you have to remember that there are always other factors into our aquariums. Whether you think you're messing with it or not, there are always other factors that are playing a part that could be causing happiness or unhappiness. So yes, everything is looking much different with these reef brights, but it doesn't mean it's the only possible um, cause of that. It could be one of many causes. It could be the only cause. Uh, the only way to really test that would be to test and, and have a lab type uh, tank running to where you know all the variables that are in the system and you're constantly testing and all that jazz and I'm not constantly testing 24 seven. So I don't know that for sure, but I know things are very, very happy. The anemones are coming out. The um, GSP is coming out more. The zoanthids all seem to be very happy. The Duncan's happy. Um, the algae is growing, skimmer's doing great. I'm getting the filter, uh, the filter roller is still rolling away, you know, collecting all that crap out of the tank. So uh, overall, everything seems to be doing great. And I think this PAR readings really uh, kind of prove that Reef Bright is more than just supplemental lighting. You can definitely use it as main source. Um, and if you want to add some oomph with it, it's definitely, a great way to go and something to really consider. Should I get a fifth one on here? I could always get a UVA. I'm not so certain about that one, but I could get an all UVA and throw that on there to get that wider spectrum. I don't know. What do you think? Fifth one? No fifth one. I don't know.
we'll think about it. Anyways, guys, that's it. I wanted to bring the par reins like I told you I would, so that's the results. Thank you for stopping by as always. If you haven't, make sure to like and subscribe, share the content, hit that bell for the notification so you stay the most up to date on this system, as well as the other videos we're putting out. Stay safe, stay happy and healthy. I will see you guys next weekend. Peace. Go cook something. Get out of the house. Go out back. It's nice out. There's no snow.